Well, Android 13 is here, which is the latest release of Android OS by Google. And if your app targets Android 13 and also sends some kind of notifications, then you have to request a runtime permission in order to send notifications. This is kind of a weird, but if you see it from privacy and security point of view, then this is good. Also, it gives users more control over their Android devices. Let's see how we can ask for runtime permission for notifications in Android 13. Here is our Android Studio project, which contains two activities. First one is the main activity and second one is the permissions activity. Let me just show you the layout files of both of these activities. In activity permission XML, I have a simple layout which contains some icons, some text and two buttons at the bottom. If user click on skip button, we will close our app showing a toast message and if user click on I am in button, then we will show our permissions pop up so user can grant us notifications permission. And in my main activity, this activity, this screen or activity contains a single button and when user click on this button, we will send our notification to the user device. Now we have to write our Kotlin code. To ask for notification permission, first of all we have to declare our permission in our manifest file. To do this, go to your manifest file and declare your permission right here. Uses permission and permission of type post notifications. Now we have to write our Kotlin code. In your permission activity, first of all, we are going to register our activity result launcher. To do this, you have to declare your activity result launcher right at the top. I'm going to name it request launcher of type activity sorry activity result launcher of type string and now we have to register it request launcher so it can we have to register it so it can listen for our results equal to register for activity result and here we can see request permission in the body we can simply use our if and else condition if it is true then we are going to navigate to main activity and else we are going to show error message and finish our activity okay now we are going to declare two more functions one is private fun ask for notification permission and second one is show error message okay show error message in our show error message we are going to show a toast message toast of make text this as context and message is per simple message permission is not granted and here we can say toast of length short and show our message we can finish our activity that's depend on, upon you you want to finish it or not actually just don't finish our activity and in our ask for permission and notification permission function we are going to simply say request launcher dot launch and here we are going to pass our permission manifest file of permission of dot post notifications and here we are going to call show error message and let's say here we can say start activity of type intent it will take intent and in our intent we are going to pass context this add the permission activity and here i want to start my main activity class node java and uh, ask for permission activity here we are going to set our button click listeners for ok button we are going to call this function ask for permission notification permission and for our skip button we are just going to call our error message function set on click listener and 
here we can say show error message okay this is what we want for our permission activity and one more thing let me just show you i already set my permission activity as a launcher activity so whenever user launch our app or whenever we launch our app permission activity will appear first then we are going to navigate to our main activity now let's write our main activity code here in main activity we want to send a notification whenever user click on a button to do this we are going to create our notification channel and then we are going to send a notification using that channel first of all we are going to create a variable which is our channel id and this can be of type string so we can simply say this is our channel id and then we are also need our notification manager notification manager and we can use system service contacts dot notification service as notification manager now first of all we have to create our notification channel so we can create a function create notification channel okay here we can simply create our channel from notification channel a new channel which required an id of type string a name and importance for id we can simply pass our channel id and name we can say this is our dummy channel and here we can pass the importance also from notification manager dot importance dot high also we can set we can use apply function here and say description is equal to this is dummy description okay what it is saying actually it want minimum api level of 26 and currently for my current project i just set the minimum api level of 21 we can simply press control alt press enter and we can annotate our function now we can say our notification manager to create this channel call it here on your on create method and now we are going to create another function to send notifications we are going to use our notification builder okay we can say notification compact dot builder and it required context and your channel id you can pass this for context and for channel id you can say we just declared and now we can do some settings uh, for our notification so we can use apply function here also we can say small icon and which is r dot draw sorry drawable of type you can say actually i want to use that baseline notification 24 icon and for our title we can say here is title android 13 and for our detailed text you can say uh, contact content text sorry here we can type just android 13 notification and that's it uh, if you want to set other things you can do that and now we can say just notification manager sorry we have to use compact notification manager dot compact from this and we can say notify it want id we can just simply pass hard coded one id here or and here we have to pass our notification builder we have to call build also and now in our on create method we are going to set listener for our button which is binding dot button dot set on click listener and here we can call our function which is send notification uh, one more thing we have actually done a mistake here at the top uh, we cannot just initialize our notification manager right here at the top and if you want to do this here at the top you can use the lazy keyword but i'm going to um initialize it here in my on create method just remove it from here and we can say 
uh, are variable of type actually remove this all private let net of var notification manager and we can say it is of type notification manager and here we can before creating any channel we can just initialize our notification manager like that and now we can run our app okay here it is our app is running and if we click on skip button you can say we have a toast message permission is not granted and if we click on i am in button then we have a pop-up here which ask us for notification permission you can don't allow it and if you click on don't allow this is same if you close a notification for any of your app by going to its settings and i'm going to just click on allow button here and we are navigating to main activity and now if we click on our button here we are going to receive and we received our notification here which is a android 13 notifications and android 13 notification so this is uh, how you can ask for runtime permissions for notifications in android 13 i will also upload this project on github repository and you can find the link in the description thank you so much if you have any questions you can ask them directly in comment sections like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to our official youtube channel i will see you in next video thank you so much